I'm Tommy Shearer with TNG Roofing Company in Los Angeles, and I'm going to show you how we do a gravel roof with a TPO over it and how that works and how good it is. So the first thing we do with a gravel roof is we get rid of the gravel. And a lot of people want to tear the roofs off. I'm going to tell you that it's really better not to do that because of landfill things and things like that. Also, you want to maintain your insulation. But when you go over this existing, the real problem is weight. And so by getting rid of the gravel, you're getting rid of 200 pounds per square. Our system's very light, and so it's 40 pounds per square. So here's the gravel roof. We're just starting it. I'm going to let you look at the roof. It's just a standard apartment. It's, uh, we're going to get rid of this gravel, and then I'm going to show you uh, tomorrow that we're going to put down insulation. And then after that, we're going to put down the single ply system. TPO over gravel. The next thing we do after the roof is swept is we put this down. This is half inch insulation. This is basically a buffer so that nothing from underneath can get through if there's a pebble there or anything. So this goes on the whole roof. Uh, right now, they've covered up most of it. And uh, we'll show you a little bit later what it looks like. Then, then this goes on. And this is a small piece of it, but this is the uh, TPL. The 60 mil cannot be uh, ripped or it's, it's, uh, it's very formidable. So this stuff, they say, lasts 50 years. So that's this. So if you can see in the picture that they've got about a third of the roof with the TPO on it. They haven't started heat welding, but I'm going to show you the heat welding tomorrow when they, when they start on that. And uh, that's the next phase. Now we're going to show you how this uh, gets adhered and fastened to the deck. And right here you have these screws and you have these wide plates. They're about eight inches apart all along every single seam on the thing. Then the next row comes on and then this is going to cover that and they're going to heat weld this. I'll show you how we heat weld this thing. But when it's done, this, this weld here is as strong as this is with, that, with the machine we do. So the way it's kept down is that one row, one side of the, of the six foot or eight foot sheet is screwed down with these plates. Can't come up. The wind can't blow it up. When this goes on, it is stuck to it. So this whole thing is stuck to the deck. So that's the, that's the procedure there. All right, every, every pipe flashing, every penetration gets dealt with individually by an individual installer. And he heats, heat wheels the way he's doing it right there. And then he'll make a, a watertight uh, boot around that particular vent. That's a square one, so it has to be made on the roof. If you pan over to this one here, this is a more standard one. It's circular. So those, those get heat welded down here. And this is really your only point of concern is right around here. So they do a, a thorough job on that. Then this get, gets a 50, sorry, this gets a 50 year uh, caulk on it. And then it gets a band like you would see a hose clamp in a car. And that gets tightened down. And then this, this seal is good for uh, the duration of the, of the roof. So that's how we handle pipes. This is what it looks like when it's done. This is a square one. It's going to have a hood over it, but the, the real, when, when the hood's over it, it, it uh, gets rid of this seal here. You don't, it, water could not go in with the hood on. But this is your seal that matters, and, uh, and water isn't going to get into any of those seals. If perhaps they missed a seal, it can easily be gotten after the fact, but we, we triple check these. Now I'm going to show you how we deal with the edge metal because a lot of people ask me how, what do you do with the edges. So this is a piece of edge metal. It's got the TPO embedded in it. So we're going to seal onto that. Now these things connect with little pieces like this and they're all heat welded together. Then this material, the first material we put down actually goes over the edge in itself. Then this goes on, this gets screwed down. Then what we do is we roll a sheet out over here, 10 inch sheet, and that gets heat welded with the heat welder, and then there you go. You've got your edge. Now we're going to show you the uh, heat welder. This is a robotic heat welder, and this machine is what does most of the seams on the roof. You can see them there. It rolls back on its own. All the installer is doing 
is keeping it steady, keeping it straight. And then that weld that he's made is waterproof and tight. So basically the whole roof is done with this. Only about 5% is done with the hand welders. So there it goes, it moves back slowly, creates an airtight seam that's uh, pretty close to perfect. And uh, there it is. That's basically the roof, how it, how it gets heat welded together. And he just goes through this. In about four hours they do this whole roof.